Hello lovelies and welcome to Teapot Chaos. This is a background that I've had lying around for a while and not really had to use or rather had the chance to use so I thought why not. But today is a bit of a different video. I am going to be doing a dupe video because I am cleaning out my lipsticks slash general makeup which a declutter video will be coming soon. I just kind of need to organize all of my nonsense. Like, it's absurd the amount of makeup I have. Like, yeah. But I am trying to both downsize and swap out my majority. There are some that I'm keeping just because I really like them or because the company's stance is wonky. But I'm trying to swap out some of my non-cruelty free for cruelty free as well as get rid of brands that I no longer support. Now, that being said, I am doing dupes for two different brands. Uh, the second brand has more than the other because I just happen to own more shades. But this is for MAC and Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now I'm going to do the MAC first and then go to the Jeffree Star ones. But, yeah. This is the first MAC one that I have now. This is, has seen better days. This is the very first MAC lipstick I ever bought, ever. And this is in the shade Cyber. I'm gonna swatch it on my hands so you guys can see it. Now, as you can see, it is a sort of brownish black based purple. But MAC is not cruelty free. So I'm kind of trying to scoot it out of my collection. And the dupe, now this also works if you darlings can't afford to pay the 17 slash 18, around 20-ish dollar price tag for MAC lipsticks. This is pretty much an exact dupe. This is by Wet n Wild and this is their, I believe these are called Mega Last lipsticks. They're literally two dollars. Two. Two dollars. And you can get this at the drugstore. And it's cruelty free. So I'm gonna put it next to the other one. You do have to build this one up a little more. But that is the MAC one and that is the wild one. By the way, I did not say the shade. This is in 919B Vamp It Up. This one is a little bit deeper, but they're pretty, pretty close. Also another one that can kind of compare to this that is a little more brown based that I no longer have because it has been bye-bye is Homegirl by Kat Von D. But there's also a high-end one. Yeah. And the other one I am going to do is a favorite of mine, but I have an ungodly amount of dark red lipsticks, so it's really not that big of a deal. There is a one MAC lipstick that I am keeping, but that's because it's a very odd shade, but anyhow, this is the other one, and it is in the shade Diva. This is a very nice matte dark red. I'm gonna swatch it. Very pretty. Kind of not very long wearing though, which is a little annoying. And then this is a dupe. This is, has a different finish, mind you. So if you do want the same finish, I will pop up a matte shade by NYX that is quite close. I do not remember the name of it at the moment. However, this is the NYX Turn It Up lipstick in the shade Feline. Now this is a very, very close. It's not exact, but it's close enough for me. And this was about five or six dollars. If I'm wrong, I'll flash the correct correction on the screen, but. And this is a little more deep and brown, but that is the MAC one. And that is the NYX one. Now this goes on very smoothly. It's not patchy. It's moisturizing. This goes on patchy for some reason. I don't know if it's the formula or I, I don't know. But yeah, yay dupes. 
Now, as I said, I don't own very many MAC lipsticks, so that's why there's only two. On to the others! Now, the second brand is one I no longer support, and that is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I have been hunting down dupes for all of the liquid lipsticks that I own by that brand, which, strangely enough, the pink one I own was hard the hardest to find a dupe for. These things, they happen. Also, the good thing about some of the dupes is they are actually cheaper than the originals, which is good if you want to save some money and not pay the $18 price tag for the velour liquid lipsticks, or like me, you do not support them. Although one is the same price, but it is another indie brand, so. Alrighty, the first one I'm gonna do is Breakfast at Tiffany's. I'm gonna swatch on my other hand. And this is a very unique color. It's literally Tiffany blue. Now I could not find a liquid lipstick to go with this. I thought there was an indie brand with it, but I was mistaken. And as you can see, it is a Tiffany blue slash sort of seafoam green color. And the dupe, as I said, not liquid lipstick, is the NYX Macaron Lippies in pistachio. Let's get it open. Look how similar that is. And boop, boop. scooch it next to Pistachio might be a little greener, but this is very, very, very close. Again, the only difference, it is not a liquid lipstick and it does not dry down completely matte. However, eh, this is around five or six dollars. As I said before, this is 18. So you save some money and yes. The next shade, I actually have two dupes for. Both of them are drugstore. And the shade, which mine is separating for some reason, is Doll Parts. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. It's really pretty. Yeah. It is kind of a strange color. It's a sort of mauve muted pink. It's really pretty. I, w I got it because I wanted kind of like a less bright pink. And I have two dupes. One is pretty much exact, and I've been wearing it a lot because it's really comfy. And it is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Natural. Now, this is the one that's an exact dupe. The other one is close, but it's lighter. Well, pretty much an exact dupe. This is a little lighter as well. But this is as close as I could find. There was another NYX lipstick, that is the next one. There was another lips, NYX lipstick, and I think it was in the Soft Matte Lip Cream, I believe it was the shade Istanbul, as well as a ColourPop um, Ultra Matte lipstick in Solo, but I ended up buying that and it didn't all look good to me, so I don't have it to, go, to compare. But this is the other one, and it is a liquid lipstick, this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Pink Really Hard. I'm gonna put that on the other side of Dolphards. Now, this is much lighter and peachier, but it is still a, a very pretty color. Now, this one, as I said, is in the five to six dollar range. Actually, this one is two. I'm pretty sure it's closer to five. And again, this is 18. One that I recently found a dupe for. Uh, this is Abused. And this is, I think, the second shade I ever got. I actually wore this when I was in my friend's wedding. So it makes me very happy that I found a dupe for it. And this is a blackened bluish purple. More blue than anything. That is abused. Really pretty. And its dupe is the NYX Liquid Suede Stick in Foul Mouth. 
Now this, this one actually pretty much is an exact dupe. The finish is a little different, however, but, whoa, I was about to say this is a little more blue, but holy crap, this is exact. I am, I am slightly shook. Which is which? I only know because I put it on and the Jeffree Star Cosmetics one smells like root beer, but that is abused and that is foul mouth. Literally exact. This one's 18 and this one is about seven. Alrighty, now the last one is was the easiest to dupe and I don't have the other one because it dried out and I had to throw it away, which made me kind of sad. But that is swapping all the lipsticks. Weirdo, and that is the black liquid lipstick. And so far my favorite black lipstick, liquid lipstick that I have found is Sleepwalker by Black Moon Cosmetics. I could shout from the heavens how much I love this company. They're so sweet and wonderful. But I am gonna swatch this just for the sake of it is a dupe video, but I'm 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 pretty sure you guys will believe me when I say two black lipsticks are the same. Another obvious dupe for this is Witches by Kat Von D. And so so many brands make black liquid lipsticks nowadays, so. Ooh. Weirdo actually looks like it may have gone off because it's very runny for some reason. I get to throw that out. Fabulous! But that is Sleepwalker and that is Weirdo. As you can see, they are both obviously black lipsticks, but this one is less shiny. I understand it is not dried down, but it, it looks a little... Yeah. But that is the last of the shades. This is what happens when you try to wipe things off. That is the last of the shades. I am possibly going to do some more dupe videos just for the sake of I know not everybody can afford high-end stuff and I do have a lot of drugstore stuff that is really really awesome. That is the last of the dupes. I do hope this was helpful and after all of that I am, like I said before, going to film a decluttering because I need to downsize the nonsense. But yeah, I love you guys dearly and I will see you next time.